everyone. I have this beautiful loaf of bread here and before I put it in the oven, I used this tool called a lamb to score it. The reason why we score it is to control the way that the bread will expand in the oven. Now, if you don't have one of these tools or don't want to purchase one, can you still get these results? The answer is yes, and I will show you how. There are three really great options that you can utilize. The key to this is the fact that the blade that you're using is sharp. So, first option would be a paring knife that has a nice sharp edge. You still want to use a very quick, decisive movement and hold it at an angle so that you don't cut your bread too deeply. Once again, if you haven't gone deep enough, you could always Cut it again. Another great option is a pair of sharp kitchen scissors. This one, kind of hold it there again at an angle so you don't get too deeply into your dough. The third option we have here is just a plain razor blade. Be careful when you're handling it. The nice thing about a razor blade is that it gives you a little more control to make really pretty decorative cuts. And for these, I'm just gonna hold that perpendicular angle to the dough and the surface that it's on. Okay, let's get this guy in the oven so that you can check out the results of these cuts versus the cuts with the lamb. So this first loaf over here, I only used the lamb to cut it and get these other decorative cuts on the side. And then the loaf I just did, we used our other tools. So I had the sharp paring knife for this large cut here and we still even got a little bit of a beautiful ear. And then we used our scissors to cut these marks. Finally, I used Use this flat razor to get these small decorative cuts. Now you know you can get fantastic results scoring your bread with other kitchen tools you have on hand. So it's time to put these sharp tips to good use.